how I got a ride or die. What's going on guys, just Jake here and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video and in today's video we're going to be customising and reviewing the brand new My Battery Pro number FF which was released today, 2020, in GTA 5 with the summertime special. Now I'm really excited about this car, it looks awesome and obviously it is supposed to be a Mitsubishi Eclipse, hopefully we can get that livery um, that we can get on the on the ordinary pro number which is the green car from fast and furious and i'm guessing the ff at the end of the my Batsu pro number ff stands for fast and furious so hopefully we can make this look awesome this video is purely just a build and review of the car and i'm um, going through all the customization options and um you know a little bit of driving at the end so if any further ado guys let's just get into it let's purchase this we're going to get it in white because it doesn't matter because i'm going to be customizing it anyway and changing the color it's going to cost you 1.3 almost 1.4 million dollars so let's get it so you get my dudes as you pull into ls customs you'll see that my battery per number ff is in the sports category another sports car this sports car category in this game is absolutely huge and as you pull into ls customs you can see that this car is awesome it looks so much more like an eclipse than the ordinary penumbra or the original penumbra should I say the original penumbra has been in the game since day dot since the beginning it's always been there um, but now they've brought out the FF version of that 100% looks more like an eclipse it looks amazing so without any further ado guys let's get into it we're going to purchase 100% body armour we've got the brakes obviously we're going to get the race brakes for the bumpers front bumpers we have 11 options for the front bumper which is awesome so it's nice that they're going to give us hopefully a lot of variation on what type of bumper we get so we've got the plate remove which is the same as the stock but it removes the plate but it also removes the emblem on the front as you can see then we're going to go down to the vent remove which is the same as the plate remove but then it opens up that bottom vent a little bit bigger next we've got the underbite bumper the street bumper the futurism bumper which looks really weird to me um, not a massive fan of that one to be honest I think that looks a little bit odd then we've got the street old bumper which is a little bit nicer that's pretty cool the style bumper the racing bumper the Baskin shark bumper and the race alt bumper they're all quite nice to be fair there's not one standout that I really dislike I think they're all pretty good looking bumpers this is my favorite one I think the racing bumper I'm not really sure though because there's so many options this is the only one i was a little bit unsure about but it's kind of grown on me the more i look at it i think it looks pretty cool it's very unique for this build i'm going to go with a style bumper i think that looks quite smart so why the hell not rear bumpers we've got loads of options for the rear bumpers as well man so uh, we've got a stock with a diffuser stock with a big diffuser it kind of cuts the bumper in half then we've got the street rear the rib street rear the rib street rear with diffuser race rear bumper there's just loads of options man <laughs> loads of options a lot of them are pretty much the same but with a diffuser attached to it as well so obviously you've got the ribbed race with a diffuser then you've got the ribbed race without the diffuser so um, if you like a diffuser it it's obviously good for you but i'm not a massive fan of these big diffusers that hang off at the bottom i think they kind of look a little bit strange so that's not my cup of tea um but obviously it will be somebody's but not for me so um i'm gonna just go with um, I'm going to go with a race rear bumper and hope that we can get some big exhausts to stick out of there to fill them gaps up. Obviously for the engine you want to get the level 4 engine upgrade, the exhausts, here we go. Hopefully we can get some massive exhausts. At the minute it's not looking too good. That's a big exhaust but it's not big enough. Same with those two. They don't fill that gap like it should. They're, they're kind of not central to the gap. They're a little bit over to the right and the left hand side which is a little bit strange they need to be more central to them gaps to be honest that's a bit disappointing see they're the biggest exhaust that we get to fill these holes in this rear bumper and they don't fit in them gaps correctly that's really odd and quite disappointing so I'm gonna purchase the dual titanium exhaust tips but I'm gonna go back to the rear bumper and change that because I don't like how that goes and See, they fit there a lot nicer in the stock bumper. They fit awesome. And obviously they fit fine with a street bumper because that's just a massive hole in the back of your bumper. That's just a race bumper. It looks really weird. Uh, so because of that, 
and because I don't want to stay stock, I'm going to go with a street rear bumper. So now we've got a different option that I don't think I've seen before, which is called front seats. Very strange. Usually it's just chassis or something like that. It's, they've actually give us a an option called front seats. But they do give us a roll cage in there as well, which is pretty cool. Um, if you like a roll cage, that is. I'm not a massive fan of roll cages, to be honest. So I'm going to be choosing a set of bucket seats without a roll cage. So uh, let's go with the competition seats. For the hood, we've got loads of options for the hood as well, 14 different options. The round vents look cool, and then we've got a carbon version of that, and then a another carbon version of it, but it's just the vents which are carbon. Uh, it looks a little bit different, I think the vents look a little bit too big to be carbon like that, I, I think that looks a little bit strange. Maybe if you've got a black car or a different colour car, it might work a little bit nicer, but with a white car it looks a little bit odd. The large square vent looks awesome, then you get a carbon version of that, and then the square vent, and you go get a carbon version of that as well. Um, so you, you, you're theoretically only getting half <laughs> designs, it says you get 14, but you know what, you probably go and you get 7 actual designs, but then you're going to get a carbon version of that design as well. Which is cool for some people if you like carbon, but I think I'm going to go with the large square, did I like that one better? No, actually, I think I like the just the square vent hood, so I'm going to go with that bad boy. Then we get an option for lights. Headlights, we're going to get the Xeon headlights and neon kit. Now, this is very neon era um, for this car. Late 90s, early 2000s. Definitely would have had a neon kit back in the day. So I'm going to get a, a neon kit, front, back, and sides. Uh, I'm not sure what colour I'm going to do this yet. From the front, it actually kind of looks like the Honda Civic from Fast and Furious as well. So maybe this is a new Honda Civic car we could use for that build. But anyway, uh, moving on. We're going to... Uh, I don't even know what colour we're going to do. So we're going to leave it white for now. And we'll come back to that. Liveries, here we go. This is the exciting part. See what liveries we've got. Hopefully, like I said at the beginning of the video, we get that um, livery for the green car from Fast and Furious. If we do, it'll be awesome. So... Some of these liveries actually look really cool. You get obviously the, the shopping list as well. I really like the look of this one. That looks awesome. Especially with the white paint as well. It actually looks really good with that. Not everyone's cup of tea obviously. But nothing ever is. You just got to do whatever. Yes baby. What I was going to say. You got to do whatever makes you happy. Whatever you like you do. Don't worry about what other people are doing. But. We get the livery. Almost had you. We get the livery. So now we can actually create the Eclipse from Fast and Furious with a more accurate car. That is awesome. That is so cool. Um, we also get like a Suki tree, which is a real cool design actually. Which is very different to anything we've actually seen. I, I, it, I might be wrong, but from what I can remember, very different to what we usually see in GTA. And I love it. I think that looks really cool. Especially with the white paint as well. Uh, obviously we get an anime one and loads more um, track racing liveries that oh shit i was not expecting that this is roman's livery from too fast too furious so we can actually now make the purple eclipse in gta holy fuck oh no way i'm well excited about that awesome there's it's been so long man i think i created this car with using a fucking banshee of four cars man because it was the closest thing the only thing now is that it's not convertible but that's not a big deal maybe we've got an option to convert it or maybe even give it a soft top that would be fucking awesome oh sorry man i'm just i was not expecting this livery that is so cool and they call it we hungry <laughs> that's so good man so now we've got the roman livery from too fast too furious so we can now make the purple eclipse fuck yeah oh mate that's awesome that is so good yeah let's move on so we've got more liveries we've got them my back to as well and that's it i can't get over that that is so good that, we're, that GTA have given, or Boxstar have given us this livery with this car. And they've also given us, almost had you as well. So we can make two awesome Fast and Furious cars with this one car. So good. Obviously, we've now got the livery. We've got the perfect car for it. Hopefully, we can make it a convertible or even make the roof look like it's a soft top and that'll finish it off. Awesome. But um, this isn't a Fast and Furious car build. This is just the review. And I actually like this. I think that looks quite cool. But I also want to change the color of the car as well. So I'm going to be going with a shopping list. 
Then we get an option for the mirrors, and we've got the carbon mirrors and secondary mirrors. I'm going to go with the secondary mirrors, they look quite cool. So now we're going to go to the respray, we're going to go primary colour, we're going to grab a classic, because I want to keep the wing mirrors black, I think they look quite smart black, so we're going to go classic, and I'm feeling like an orange for this car. So obviously we've got three options for orange, we've got sunrise orange, just orange or bright orange. But then I moved down to bronze, and bronze looks pretty awesome. So I'm going to go with bronze. <laughs> I was going to get orange, but I found bronze and it looks sweet, so I'm going to get it. Uh, secondary colour, we're also going to go classic. And why we get a metallic shine on that? That's weird, man. I chose classic so we didn't get a metallic shine. But we do. I just wanted the wing mirrors pure black. So what we'll have to go back and do now is go back to the wing mirrors. Or just mirrors and change them to carbon. Solves the issue, baby. So we get a trim color option as well. It's just going to be, yeah, the dials around, which is going to change in the seat. But it looks cool in graphite, so I'm going to leave it graphite. Now the roof option. So we've got a scoop, carbon scoop, race scoop, carbon, and then we've got the built set so of scoops. So we can't make it convertible, unfortunately. But that makes no difference whatsoever <laughs> to uh, Roman's car build. It's still going to look awesome. Um, if they give us sort of like a roof option to make it look like a soft top, that would have been awesome. But they haven't. But I wasn't really expecting it, to be fair. So that's not a big deal. Uh, roof scoop, yeah, why not? Let's just get the standard scoop. So then we've got side skirt options. Uh, so we've got the carbon version of the stock. Then we've got the small lip, carbon large. Then we've got the angled. Then the carbon version of that. The bulbosus skirt. And then the carbon version of that. Then we've got the shelved. These all look very similar to each other, to be honest. Nothing really is screaming out at me saying this is so different. Pick me. Except for the angled one, I think, is the only one that really looks, you know, crazy different. Other than that, they're all pretty much the same, which is really odd. But I'm here. I'm just going to grab the rounded shelf skirt, because that's the one I'm on. Why the hell not? Then we've got splitters. So we've got a whole new option for splitters, which is completely different, because usually we get a split option with the bumper. This is awesome. I'm loving it. So good. So we've got a primary, then we've got a carbon version of that primary carbon you know you know the way it goes then we've got the basic um in my opinion it's got to be a carbon what's the point in getting a, an extended split which is going to be the same color as the bump i think it looks kind of strange plus if i get a carbon one it's going to match the wing mirrors so my favorite so far is the carbon race splitter that looks awesome oh so with this one it change, it gives us a an intercooler as well very weird so let's go go through the options again but with a with intercoolers, what the fuck? This this is a split category. It makes no sense. There's no change in the intercooler. I'm not complaining, but it's just really weird, and I'm actually loving it. This is so cool, <laughs> and that was my favourite splitter anyway. And I love that intercooler, so I'm gonna go with a carbon race alt with intercooler too. So cool, man. So then we're gonna move on to the spoilers. So we've got the small wing, which looks fucking ridiculous. Oh my god, that looks really weird. Street wing, carbon version of that. The angled. Hmm. Not sure how I feel about that one. And we get the carbon, full carbon version of that. Standard wing, carbon extended, carbon large, carbon <laughs> large extended, carbon. Yeah, uh, yeah, you, you get the idea. I've just noticed on this livery, we get this horrible lettering at the back. I really dislike that. I didn't realise we got that. I was happy with just the shopping list on the front and on the hood, that looked alright, or on the side and on the hood, that looked pretty cool, uh, but then we get this horrible distorted lettering at the back and I don't like that, so I will be changing the livery I think. And these spoilers are just going crazy right now. So they start off really small and then we end with craziness like this. Um, a nice one, mid-range kind of spoiler was this carbon standard I think the carbon extended wing probably looks the best so we're gonna go with the carbon extended wing I'm gonna go back up to the liveries and change that out I'm gonna go with the um, the Suki tree I actually really like that design I think it looks cool and I'm gonna go back and change the the color of the car as well so we go I've gone with the metallic bluish silver in the secondary and the primary color I think that looks awesome with the Suki livery I think that looks really cool 
I like how it goes up onto the spoiler as well. Not going to be everyone's cup of tea, but like I said, it doesn't really matter what other people like, it's what you like. I'm um, also going to go back to the lights and change the neon kit colour. And I'm going to go with this pony pink just to match delivery, I think that looks pretty sweet. So then after the spoiler option, we get a sunstrip option, which is awesome, love a sunstrip. I'm um, not sure about the ones where they carry on with the livery design. Mm, it kind of looks okay, unsure about that one. Uh, but then we get the plastic sunstrip, which is just plain black, and then globe oil, and then the hard stand sunstrip as well, which looked kind of out of place with this livery and the design I've gone for. So I think I'm just going to go with uh, the plastic sunstrip, just plain black. Suspension, obviously we're going to go with a competition suspension. Oh, are we? Actually, no. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's have a look at the suspension again. It kind of cambers out a little bit and slams it a little bit too much for my liking. I think sports suspension looks better. Let's go with sports suspension. Transmission, we're going to get a race transmission and obviously turbo tuning. For the wheels, the actual standard wheels for this car look really good. I know they've put them on other cars previously, but they look especially good on this car, in my opinion. Um, not sure if they... Ooh, ooh. Ooh, we get a new option for wheels. Awesome. Awesome. About bloody time. How long have we waited for new wheels in GTA? This is awesome, man. So cool. And actually nice looking wheels too. Some nice deep dish. Yeah, baby. Some new Cracker Customs. Duke Customs. Ah, uh, Endo V.3. They look really good. Ah, oh, I love them. GTA, Rockstar, what have you done? This is awesome. New cars, new wheels, this is so good. We even got new Benny's vehicles as well to come. In later, oh mate, they look good. The Aerostar, they look awesome. They look really nice. Hype 5, Rockstar, you sexy bastards. They've actually give us really nice wheels. This is awesome. <laughs> I know I keep saying it, but I, I'm really I'm speechless. I, I was not expecting this. 31. Is it 31? Does that include the stock rims? We'll say 30. 30 new wheel designs in GTA. After all these years. After all these years and all these t times. And even myself saying that we need new rims in GTA. And I've actually done it. So good. Wow. I'm actually spoiled for choice now. Really don't know what ones to go for. I think the v, uh, the Endo V.3 actually look really nice on this car. Don't know man, them synthetic Z concaves look awesome. I'm gonna go with them ones, why the hell not? They look so good on this car. I'm not even gonna change the color. The color looks awesome. It's got like, kind of like got a, an alloy, chromey kind of shine to it. I'm, like, I'm loving it. So tires, tire design. We got new tire designs, are we as well? We do. Oh my days. That is awesome. New tire designs as well. Anyway, bulletproof tires is a must. Tire smoke is a waste of time. Windows, we'll go get the light smoke to finish the build. And there we have it, my dudes. The Penumbra FF. The brand new car into GTA 5 online. We've got new wheel designs. Oh my god. And I'm sorry that it's dark, but I can't be helped. It can't be helped because this is on my PS4, um, so I can't control the weather or the time of day. So unfortunately, it is night. But you can see how beautiful it is, and you saw how beautiful it was inside of LS Customs, and the amount of wheel options we've got now—30 brand new wheel options, which is so good. So many different customization options for this car as well, and I'm really happy with the way this looks. To be fair. It's a little bit different, you know, it's not to everyone's taste, but I think it looks cool. And the wheels look awesome. This this sounds really good as well. And it actually feels a lot faster than the original Pronumbra, which isn't too difficult to do, to be fair, because the original Pronumbra was really slow. And I'm smashing my car up already, I'm just so excited. But as we drive, it feels really good, it feels really tight. It's just me driving like an idiot. It just actually feels quite quick. I don't think it's going to be anywhere near the top fastest sports car in the game it's definitely not going to be doing them sort of numbers but it feels very capable it feel, feels real tight around the corners which is good which is what you want it doesn't slide out in, in any sort of way 
brake gun, handling, all feels good and responsive. So overall a really, really good car. Um, like I said, the speed isn't great, but I'd be buying this over and over again if I had to. For the price, 1.3, almost 1.4 million. Yeah, it's on the expensive side, but you get so much customization options for that. Plus you're getting a really capable car, um, really good at handling. Um, decent speed, like I said, not the fastest, but it's, it's good enough. And um, I think it'll make a lot of people happy, especially with the customization options you get in it. So yeah, overly impressed with the Penumbra FF coming to us with the summertime update or the summertime special, whatever you like to call it, from Rockstar and GTA 5. Still being updated after all these years and long may it continue until GTA 6 is released. But just taking a look at it, it looks awesome. Um, to finish off this video, I am going to quickly go into uh, my car garage and compare it to the original Penumbra. So here you go my dudes, as I'm now inside my garage, I just wanted to compare it to the original Penumbra. We've got the OG Penumbra right there, we've got the new Penumbra FF, and the, the difference in design is quite staggering. You can, you can really see how this does not look anything <laughs> like an Eclipse now compared to this bad boy. It looks awesome, and I'm really excited, like I said, to be creating um, two new Fast and Furious cars with this design of Penumbra. I'm going to go into first person. It looks a little bit tinted now because I've got a mask on my character. Um, but yeah, it just looks so good. Even the front end, like I think I said it through the video already, it kind of looks like um, a Civic, you know, the black Civic from the Fast and the Furious. So maybe we can build the black Honda Civic with a green underglow with this car as well. Not so much the rear, uh, but definitely the front end of it. But... Yeah, so excited about creating two new Fast and Furious builds with this car. And it, like I said, the difference in Penumbras is quite staggering. You can see the OG Penumbra. It does, just don't cut it. Now we've got this bad boy. So yeah, this is going to be the end of the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please smash the like button. If you haven't already, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. And until next time, guys, I'm out. Adios.